Next, we went to Bathgate in Scotland to meet a deaf man called George Wood, who is a talented comedy hypnotist. We spent the evening with him and watched his performance. Let's take a look. As far as I know, I'm the only guy who has extremely hard to hear and difficulties and is able to actually do hypnosis. Although he describes himself as hard of hearing, George is actually 90% deaf. In a couple of hours, he will be performing at a private function at the Regal Theatre in Bathgate, Scotland. George discovered he could do hypnosis after suffering an injury to his back. He was experimenting with reflexology as a way to reduce the pain and found he was able to send someone into a hypnotic trance. Like many hypnotists, George is self-taught. There is no regulatory body for hypnosis in the UK, but there are strict regulations compared to the rest of the world. The kind of ways that I'll induce hypnosis will be through, um, well, I guess you could call that magnetic hands, that's the official term for it. Um, there'll also be some, uh, you know, rapid inductions. It just really depends on the person, um, you know, what, how they respond. Hypnosis is basically a form of interrupting a person's um, thought pattern. So, on a very basic level, your mind is, you know, who we are when we're awake is called your conscious mind, and who we are when we're asleep is called your subconscious. Everything that you see with your eyes and everything that you, you know, if you can hear, everything you hear, and even your tastes, your, your patterns in life go beyond your conscious mind and, and your subconscious. The interesting thing about the subconscious is it can't tell the difference between reality and what is fiction. The show is about to kick off, but George has a few cynics he needs to win over in the audience tonight. I've never been hypnotised, but I'm fascinated by if, if it's even possible. I'm, I'm a bit of a cynic. I've, I don't believe in hypnotism, but hopefully tonight might change that a bit and sway my belief. Thank you. It's great to see so many of I can hardly see you for the spotlight, so thanks very much for coming along. Um, so I've normally asked for about 20 volunteers. Um, I like to think that I'm easy to work with, so I, the more I get, the, 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 you know, the more uh, the show is going to be uh, more fun, because I'll, I'll use some testers to select who I think will be the stars of the show. George is not a stereotypical hypnotist. He's a fan of Paul McKenna and Darren Brown both modern hypnotists whose techniques and styles embrace the use of comedy in their acts. Anytime I shake your hand like this, you will think I'm the most attractive man alive, okay? I'll put it here, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I decided to go the comedy hypnotist route because I often have a lot of ideas come into my head especially when I'm sleeping, um, you know, my dreams are a bit, you know, uh, over the top. So a lot of the sketches that I do um, are things that maybe I'll imagine. Um, I've got plans to make it bigger, but I can only work with the props that I can personally afford just now. So um, I'm limited, obviously, by reality, but that's the, that's the challenge, trying to, you know, cross over the imagination into the reality, and that's what I love about it. Three, four, Five and wait. Can you wake up. Wake up. Okay, wake up. You got your banjos. You got your banjos. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Just get tuning. If you just want to, just start tuning that. Okay. Because you need to make sure it's all right. Because we've got a big gig next. All right. Some hypnotists have been criticised for ridiculing people on stage, but this is not what George is about. Well, when you hypnotise people and you give them a suggestion, they will follow what you've asked them to do. However, I leave it open to their interpretation rather than restricting them through the suggestion to the point where they're a robot. So you'll see them follow my suggestion, but they'll add in their own flair. You want to get up, get your... That's it, yep. That's it. Oh, he's, he's the star of the show. <laughs> yes. That's it, yeah. Mind, mind and try and get in, you know, get, get them noticing you. 
Half a million people in England use hypnotherapy every year for health reasons such as obesity, tinnitus, phobias, smoking, allergies and anxiety. Hypnosis has been in use for thousands of years. There is evidence to suggest that hypnosis was used by the Egyptians and Romans. They used sleep temples in which people laid down whilst chanting, which helped cure illness. We asked George Wood if there was any potential danger. No, it's not dangerous at all. It's very natural and it's also very good for you um, because see all your stresses, um, it can even help, you know, high blood pressure, things like that. It can, it's really healthy. And I know there's some people who think it's not, um, but I can't understand that um, if, if anything, it's a lack of knowledge and a, and a lack of experience, which makes people, you know, scared. And that's a very natural state as well, because fear is unknown. But the only way to conquer your fears is to dive in and find out about it, rather than you know, pushing things to the side, you want to bring them in. That's, that's the way I look at it. And that's the way it is, I think. And all of you wake up, wake up, that's it. Big pun. That's it. And there's full of audience. That's it, yeah, that's it. Yeah. He's, he's in the audience, that's it. I wasn't born deaf, it was the mumps that caused me to become deaf. I had learned to speak by the age of three, four, so I've got that luxury of being able to speak. But my, my ears are that bad, it normally shocks audiologists because they'll say, how can you speak? And I have to tell them, you know, you know it's later on that this happened. George has lived with his deafness since childhood, but has struggled with whether to reveal it to his audiences. I've, I've hidden my deafness a lot in my life, as I've had to go through, even in school, you know, hiding it and trying to fit in with society. And even, you know, jobs I've had, I've had to try and hide it. I never put down an application forms, you know, I'm 90% deaf in my ears. Um, or I, they probably would have never hired me. And some places that I've worked have said to me, you know, hey, once I've let them know I'm deaf, uh, you know, it's just not working out and things like that. And I felt, really discriminated against in some ways. So when I started this hypnosis, I didn't really want to mention to people um, as I thought it would cause them to reject me and maybe think I'm stupid. But I'm far from stupid and I decided to say to people publicly about my ears and the response was overwhelmingly good. The person whose shoulder I am touching just now, any time that you drink this water, OK, you want to drink more of it and more of it until there's none left, OK? Is there a wee water for you? Enjoy. <laughs> Hello, Rory. Oh, <laughs> I think my deafness has helped in a sense, um, as I have had to use my eyes for absolutely everything, um, from lip reading, um, which I've taught myself. I can't fully hear the audience, so that can help me with the, you know, because I don't feel the pressure of them. But sometimes it can hinder because with the stage lights, I can't see the audience. And when I can't hear them, I feel I'm doing really bad. But that's normally when I'm doing really good. So it's strange when I come off the stage and people say, I really enjoyed your show. And I'm like, did you? And then I watch it back on the video and it's, uh, it's been a success. <laughs> The dream was get it in the theatre within five years, and I, I got it into the theatre within six months. So I'm, I'm now at the point where I'm just like, you know, let's just see where this goes and have fun. That's, that's what life's about to me. 
These have been absolutely fantastic. Take a bow. Thanks very much. Remember dancing, dancing and smiling. Uh, this evening was absolutely fantastic. Recommend it to anybody, anyone. Everyone will love it. Brilliant. <laughs> I didn't feel embarrassed. It felt natural to be doing what I was doing. <laughs> it's, it's been a success, eh? so I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Definitely no longer a cynic. <laughs>